Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the hotel management system using Django. In this one, we will get started working with the notifications view. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. Firstly, I will begin by opening up my admin and coming over to the notification just to confirm that we have some notifications here. Then now I will open up my code and I want to close up all this other tabs that I, that I have right now and then open up the user dashboard views py and now down here I will create a new view make sure to pass on the login required and this new view will be called notifications and it will pretty much take in requests so now I want to say notifications should be equal to notification dot object dot filter by user should be equal to requests dot user and also scene should be equal to false with that out of the way then you could go ahead and create a new context and pretty much pass in the notification so notifications and over here notification then you want to return a template if you don't want to type all that out we already have this just copy it and put it down there then change this up all right let's create a new template called notifications html and in the notifications html scroll all the way to the main template grab the notifications html here and you pretty much want to put this in here all right so when that is done you also want to import this from the top here so that we can like, extend all the partials dashboard and pretty much all the informations that we need to make this template run as expected then finally end block content and also include the dashboard sidebar so this is something that we'll be doing pretty much create a new view set up the template create a url so for the urls now i will have to duplicate this one and call this one notifications the same name for this the same name for this now open up your dashboard sidebar and let's create a new url for the notifications so that we can easily access it so for this one i will take the name the name here notifications and pretty much put it down here so without out of the way if you get back to your code and reload and click on notifications see we have notifications but it's empty we don't have anything showing up here so i'll get back to the notifications html so i had to pause the video and remove the comments that i made initially and actually replace this with a raw template that doesn't have any of the django code so that we can do this from scratch and you will understand what it does now this is how it's looking you can see this is the booking and now if you take this allies and duplicate it you can now see multiple notifications coming in over here so this is what we have without any django code now let's start running the for loop i'll say for n in notifications notifications and you want to end the for just down there and fix the indentation and then if you reload this we should now have um is it four that we had here oh there you go see we had four now if you are getting rid of any of this you should now see it so if we mark this as scene and save you should now see that that should be gone all right so with all this out of the way let's now change up the notification id so this one should be n dot and um, actually mm, in the in the notifications model do we have anything like the booking model yeah i think we have booking model associated to it so we can say end of booking or booking id there you go so we can get this so your booking has been placed successfully but remember that in the notifications model let me quickly open that up we have this thing called type that goes back to this so booking confirmed and booking cancelled we firstly want to check if the notification type is booking confirmed for example you can see here that this notification one of it is booking confirmed then we want to say your booking has been confirmed 
But if one is booking cancelled, then we want to say your booking has been cancelled. So for that, I will open up the notifications. And instead of just passing in this LI like this, I want to write a simple conditional statement here that says if n dot type is equal to booking confirmed, that is when I want to say your booking has been placed successfully. But if it's not booking confirmed, if it's booking cancelled, so in the else, I will say your booking has been cancelled successfully. All right, that is pretty much it. I will fix the indentation. And now when we get back here and reload this page, all this now is saying has been placed successfully. But if we change one of these to cancelled, you will then see one saying your booking has been cancelled successfully. So that is pretty much it. The notifications are coming in as expected. In the next video, we'll start working with marking the notification as seen. And as soon as we click on this, we will remove the notification from here. That is pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. And in the next one, we'll get started working with something new. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, my love, peace out.